What is net neutrality? Federal Communications Commission, the FCC did something. There could be major changes coming to your internet service. Net neutrality has been covered in the news more in the past few months than it has ever been before. This is due to the ruling by FCC Chairman Ajit Pai to repeal Obama-era legislation which protects net neutrality under government law. Despite having an overwhelming support from the general public, lawmakers refused to agree to pass a bill which would reinstate net neutrality and continue to provide an open and free internet for all Americans. The repeal of net neutrality essentially gives internet service providers like Comcast and Verizon the ability to decide which websites you can access, which services you can use, and what information you can view. It gives them the ability to slow down and speed up access to specific websites at will, with no regulation in place. While hearing that may make it seem like it's not that big of a deal, it essentially means that the internet is now being governed by large telecommunication corporations instead of being free and open to everyone. For instance, in 2014, Comcast severely slowed down their customers' access to the video streaming website Netflix, causing Netflix to lose subscribers and large amounts of revenue. Comcast then charged Netflix an undisclosed amount of money to speed access to the service back up and regain their initial subscribers. This is just one example of how companies could exploit their power over the internet for nothing other than corporate greed. Despite the efforts of Ajit Pai to repeal net neutrality once and for all, numerous politicians have voiced their support for the continuity of net neutrality and have displayed efforts to pass a bill which would reinstate net neutrality for good. In May 2017, Senate Democrats wrote a letter to quote, everyone who uses the internet, urging them to voice support for net neutrality in an effort to stop the repeal. After the FCC ruling, every single Senate Democrat and a single Republican, that of Ms. Susan Collins from Maine, wrote and expressed support for a bill to reinstate net neutrality. Despite their efforts, the Republican majority in the Senate prohibited them from getting enough votes to pass it. Currently, they are one vote short of passing net neutrality once and for all and continuing to provide an open and free internet for everyone. It should be our duty as American citizens and users of the internet to write letters, call, and email Republican senators to garner one more vote for net neutrality. In doing so, we can secure a bright future for the internet.